You know, discussions on a national minimum wage require the involvement of all and sundry. President Bola Tinubu said he, is, he was consulting with 30 state governors and members of organized private sector OPS before arriving at a figure that would be submitted to the National Assembly in the form of an executive bill uh, that constitutes the new national minimum wage. Time to grab the bull by the horns and lay the ghost of minimum wage to rest. <laughs> well, um, first of all, the first thing that came to my mind when I read this story is the fact that the so-called uh, 62,000 Naira agreement mm. may not necessarily be the final agreement. Okay. Because I've read in places where state governors have expressed reservations yeah. about that uh, figure. figure, saying that they won't be able to afford it. And if you look at the history of minimum wage in Nigeria, you realize that the federal government, when the federal government even awards a minimum wage, many state governments don't comply. Mm. Even as we speak, there are still states that do not pay the 30,000 Naira minimum wage, and uh, there are many local governments that don't pay that minimum wage as it, as mm. it is now. So, yeah. Which means that uh, really the president is doing the right thing by consulting with states. Board, yes, yeah. because uh, now, well, we can talk about federation. This is a, a good place to talk about federation. Under normal circumstances in the federation, that is what yeah. should be done because at least the president doesn't have the power to pay salaries at the state and local government okay, yeah. level. Yeah. But um, my, my fear is that the state government may not agree to that 62,000 Naira. Yeah. And already the organized private sector, uh, speaking through NECA, has said that they are not, they cannot go beyond 62,000 Naira. You know, labor is still telling us that it's on 250,000 Naira. So the whole thing is still somehow. But I just hope that by the time everybody finishes this talk, we will be able to come to a figure that is agreeable yeah. to all parties. And not just that, then the parties will effect that law when it comes to, to be. To be. Yeah. So that we don't go back to, you know, where we are coming from. And because I think that is the most important thing yeah. now, that whatever is agreed upon mm. should be binding should be binding on yeah. all parties. B Bikeo, you are wondering if the debate on the national minimum wage is winnable. <laughs> this one is not about winning the debate. <laughs> it's about... Um, it's about determining yes, an acceptable, what, agreeable yes, what figure is right. Okay, what figure is right to the federal government may not necessarily be right to the federal units, the states, the local governments, and the organized private sector. Sector. This thing is a tripartite. Mm. Um, it's supposed to be a tripartite agreement. Yeah. The federal government representing itself and the states, labor standing alone as one leg of the tripod, and the organized private, private sector, sector standing alone. So, but labor has continued to push the federal government, push very hard. As if this is a decision for the federal government alone. You see, they've been talking to the president that they've been uh, um, calling, you know, uh, piling pressure on. But yeah. even if the federal government says, I can pay the 250 that they're asking for, which I believe they can't pay, 
it's not a decision for the, the president alone. Yeah. The law as it is now says there shall be a minimum wage. Mm -hmm. And that the Minister of Labor has the obligation to enforce it, meaning to ensure that all stakeholders pay the minimum wage. What we now have in a country is a deregulated minimum wage structure, whereby we decide on a minimum wage, it becomes law, but people don't uh, comply with the law. Remember NLC begging the governor of Abia State the other day that he should please pay the minimum wage. See, today they are not paying minimum wage of 30,000 naira in that state. You are begging him. The story is there. That can be fact checked. Mm. That's what, there are states today that are still paying 18,000. Uh, 18, they don't see anything like wrong. Upon years ago. Yes. So we had 30,000 after years of debate. In fact, it was actually during the Buhari regime that the law in terms of the time ceiling that must be met mm. was breached. It's supposed to be every five years. Okay. President Buhari couldn't do it when he was supposed to do it. Jonathan came up with a minimum wage in 2011. Ideally, by 2016, we should have a new minimum wage. Okay. But we didn't have a new minimum wage until years after. So the law had been breached in that respect. Mm. Now, even when he agreed that, okay, let's have 30,000 naira as minimum wage, many states, many states are not paying. And the reason is obvious. When Ajero talks about uh, 400 and something thousand and then 250,000, what they fail to realize is that every time you increase minimum wage, the, every, every staff, including a level 17 officer, yeah. gets a pay rise. O okay. Because through they will the, not want the level 1 to 7 mm. that are often affected by the minimum wage. They will not want them to catch up with their seniors, <laughs> their <laughs> guys. So the best thing everybody gets, and understandably, understandably so too, because adjustment. even those ones too are affected by whatever it is in the uh, that is happening in the economy. I, I know. Mean the senior I know. People. So a minimum wage mm. triggers wholesale salary increment. Yeah. yeah, with the attendant consequences well, on well, the finances of states local government, and the federal government. So it's just about what percentage you get. That's it. Mm. Yes. They look, and the higher you are on the ladder, the lower the, lower the percentage increment that you get. Some will mm. get like 5%. Even that one, they, they usually debate it for months. Right. So at the end of the day, once you do minimum wage, everybody who is a worker, um, in that sector gets to benefit. Mm. So when you are thinking of minimum wage, you are not just thinking of what you will pay workers on the lower rungs of the ladder. You are thinking of the fact that everybody will get something. And that has huge financial implications. So that is why I can see these states. I'm not, I'm not in any way supporting the governors, you know. I think that the governors ought to do better. But I can sense that some of these governors believe that whatever extra money they are earning now, which provides opportunity for, uh, to deliver greater infrastructure and all that, could in fact be wiped away by a new minimum wage if it is not well thought out. Yeah. It's a fact that, look, uh, uh, this... the, the wage bill yeah. will become really, really bloated. So 
there, there is no doubt about it that this is something that has to be carefully considered. That's it. And I'm happy the same labor that um, used to be very truculent, they are now saying, oh, we are not going on strike. Let's wait for the president. <laughs> After all, uh, President Buhari, uh, what was suggested to him was not what he eventually approved. Mm. He added to it. Let us see uh, President Tinobu may in fact add yeah. to it. Because people have been pushing that maybe they should go on strike. They should go and shut down the national grid again. Which if, <laughs> if no ribadu and uh, others allow that to happen, it will show that they are grossly incompetent. If you permit anybody to lay his hand on the national grid again, uh, uh, quickly, it will show uh, that you don't know is, what you are doing. This is not to wish away the, uh, the inflationary trends yes. that will follow it. Oh, that one is a given. Mm. Because those women in the markets, they are waiting. And your landlord, you know, remember what happened. Yeah, my landlord, you, are, you, are, you are an old man. <laughs> remember what happened with Udoji Award. Ah. Remember how they... Mm. So we were small then. Yeah. But at that time, I could read a newspaper. I may not be able to thoroughly understand what I'm reading. But I knew that the Udoji Award triggered inflation on a scale that Nigeria had never witnessed. Mm. It was a failure. Market though. women to... Well, it, it was increasing prices and all that, you know, because right. they said, ah, no, with this Udoji Award, public servants have become a lot richer. And you see, the money we are talking about in, concerning Udoji, three, four hundred naira. <laughs> Big money at the time. 